No time to cry over spilt milk. Time to get ready for Missouri the next week in Stillwater. The Cowboys open the game on a dismal note. Gundy trips, taking the snap, fumbles the pitch to Sanders, and Missouri recovers on the OSU 30. Tigers scored several plays later from the one to take a 7-0 lead. The Missouri defense stymied the boats twice. They had to settle for a couple of field goals. This one was 52 yards by Kerry Blanchard, second longest in OSU history. Second quarter, Cowboys take the lead when Gundy goes back to pass and hits Hartley Dykes on a 32-yard touchdown play. The conversion failed, and the Cowboys lead it 12-7. Blanchard added another field goal for a 15-9 Cowboy lead at the half. He had another early in the third, then Barry Sanders did his thing to the Tigers, one of the best runs of the season. 45 yards tiptoeing down the sidelines for the touchdown and it's a 22 to 7 cowboy lead missouri wasn't out of it until this play a tiger fumble and sean mackey recovers at the missouri 15. sanders got his second touchdown of the game with a one yard dive that made it 29 7 cowboy Missouri added a score to pull to within 16, but the Gundy-Dykes combination clicked again. This time for 62 yards, the conversion failed and the Pokes led by a 35-13 count. Wait though, there's more. Gerald Hudson scored on runs of 14 and 27 yards. Missouri added a late touchdown. And as the sun sank slowly in the west, Oklahoma State had a lopsided 49-21 win over Missouri. The win ran the Cowboys record to 5-1 on the season and 2-1 and in the Big 8. Well, for Sanders, it was the lowest yardage output of the season. 25 carries for 154 yards and two touchdowns. On the season, Sanders has carried 145 times for 1,156 yards and 21 scores. Gundy is 81 of 129 in passing for 1,266 yards and eight touchdowns. And Dykes on the season has 32 catches for 682 yards and five touchdowns.